Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, is a method for controlling plant pests by combining available control options. IPM incorporates chemical, biological and cultural management techniques to form a unified crop protection system. Dr Paul Horn is the founder and director of IPM Technologies, a Melbourne-based company that works with growers through levy-funded projects in implementing IPM strategies. So the biological control are the natural enemies of the pests that occur in the crops and so either invertebrates or pathogens. Uh, there's a range of predators and parasites that, that we find naturally and it's just a matter of encouraging them. The cultural controls are management tools and that could be something as simple as variety selection or irrigation management. Uh, but there's a, a vast range of things. In vegetable production, one of the most powerful tools is what people usually do anyway, and that's sequential planting. And so when a pest arrives, it'll hit the first planting and then beneficials will follow. Once the beneficials have arrived on the farm, instead of only the pests moving through, beneficial species move through as well. So cultural options are very important. The chemical options are the things that growers are familiar with, but selecting the type of spray in an IPM strategy is very, very different to uh, what they might be used to in a conventional routine uh, spray program. Dr Horn said that industry often turns to IPM to react to problems, when it's actually most effective as a proactive management strategy. Too often we get involved with trying to help growers to control pests when there's a crisis. This happens repeatedly because while things are working well, there's very little incentive to change. But when either insecticide resistance becomes an issue or pesticides are withdrawn, either by the company or by legislation, and those chemical tools aren't available anymore, then growers need to change. If industries start using an IPM approach before there's a crisis, they can expect to have a far more sustainable production, so producing the crop over a longer time because they're not so reliant on a small group of chemical products. Several levy-funded projects are currently underway to make IPM more effective and accessible to growers. At the moment, we have a project funded by the vegetable industry and Hort Innovation, which is to test pesticides that are registered for use in vegetable crops for their impact not on pests or diseases, but for their effects on beneficial species of interest in those crops. So the project that we have is being done jointly with QDAF and SADI in South Australia and IPM Technologies here and we aim to produce guides for growers that will clearly state what the likely impact of pesticides are on the beneficials of interest in their crops. Dr Horn said that a wide range of resources are available to help growers learn more about how to successfully implement an IPM strategy into their growing operations. There's a wide range of resources, either guidebooks, fact sheets, ag notes, that are available either locally or internationally. But in the end, they'll need to see it on their own farm. So they need to get an advisor, either their local agronomist or someone that has an, some IPM expertise, to be able to show them how to implement an IPM on farm. To find out more about levy-funded projects in the IPM space, please visit horticulture.com.au. InfoVeg TV is funded by Hort Innovation using the vegetable and fresh potato research and development levies and contributions from the Australian Government. Hort Innovation is the grower-owned, not-for-profit research and development corporation for Australian horticulture.